guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and if you have been here already, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a really easy, quick, five minute smoky eye look. I have done plenty of smoky eyes, but every time I upload a smoky eye video, I noticed that a lot of people comment that they find it really hard to do a smoky eye. So I hope by creating this video for you all, um, it will kind of make you feel more comfortable doing a smoky eye. Also, I play with brown shades instead of black because I feel like um, if you never wear a smoky eye, black can be really intimidated. So I thought I would do a brown version. This way it might feel a little bit more comfortable for you all to try it out and it's not like bam in your face. It's still really smoky, but not like too smoky, if that makes sense. I also think the colors that I'm wearing, anyone can pull this off. It will look amazing with any eye color. So yeah, I really hope this video is gonna be helpful. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids and I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot, one of my favorite eyeshadow primers ever. And the brush that I'm using to apply this is the Sigma Beauty P84 brush. I do have a special discount code for everything on Sigma Beauty's website, which I will link down in the description. Now for today's look, I'm gonna play with this Sassy Sienna's palette from Dose of Colors. Not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm gonna start with this really warm brown kind of color and I'm gonna blend this all over my crease. If you're following me for a while, you know normally I always go in with a lighter shade first. But since this palette doesn't really have like a really light transition shade, I'm gonna straight in with this darker shade. These eyeshadows are really easy to blend out, so it didn't really matter that I went in straight with a darker color because it was so easy to blend out, so I had no problems with that whatsoever. So the brush I used first was the Sigma E40, and now I switched to a bigger fluffier brush, which is from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collection. Then now the next product I'm going in with is this eyeliner from Dose of Colors in this dark brown shade. And I'm gonna use this as a base for the smoky eye. I feel like if you use like a black eyeliner or a brown eyeliner underneath the eyeshadows that you wanna apply all over the eyelid, it will become even intenser. And I think you can't really get it as intense as with a gel eyeliner instead of like when you would go only in with eyeshadow. So this is just a really easy trick to give your smoky eye that extra darkness that you like. Then around the edges, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown color, which is a little bit warmer than the gel eyeliner, but it's fine. I'm just going all the way over the gel eyeliner and also blend this around the edges to make the transition from my eyelid to my crease look a little bit more blended out. I'm just packing this all over the eyelid because since the gel eyeliner has a little bit of a different undertone, I kind of wanted to change that to the eyeshadow that I'm using right now. Then the next color I'm going in with is this orangey reddish brown, really beautiful color. And this is like a perfect in-between color and I'm just gonna blend that around the edges as well to make the transition look even more smooth. Because you know I already went in with that light brown color, then I went in with a really dark color around the edges. So now to go in with like that in-between color is like the perfect shade to blend around the edges because it will perfectly match in between. So now to make sure that everything is blended out even more, I'm going back in with that first color that I blended in my crease, just to make sure that everything looks even more blended out. I feel like you can never blend enough and it's always good to start, um, you end with the shade that you started with just to make the transition look blended out. I feel like this always makes a huge difference to just grab that light color again. So this is how it's looking right now and now it's time to go in with a little bit of eyeliner. This is optional, you don't have to do this, you can also go straight in with lashes. But I always feel whenever I go in with fake lashes and I don't wear any eyeliner, that you can't really see the lash glue and it doesn't look really neat. So even though I'm not really going for a wing or anything, I always create that simple line above the lash line, just to make sure that the lash band will be less visible. So now for my one line, I'm gonna take this brown pencil, also by Dose of Colors, and I'm gonna use that all over in my one line. And this is a really beautiful color. It really matches with the brown that I used um, 
on the eyelid. You can also go in with that gel eyeliner that I also used on top of the eyelid and apply that in the one line. Then now to blend out my lower lash line, I'm going in with the darkest color from that Dose of Colors palette. And first I took this really tiny brush from Suiva and I'm pressing this right underneath the lower lash line and also slightly on top of the waterline to really make the lower lash line as dark as I can. And then later I'm gonna blend it out with a different color, but first I really wanted this color to really be packed on. So now I'm taking that in-between color and the lightest shade that I used for in my crease. I'm gonna use these two shades to blend out my lower lash line. The brush that I'm using for this is a Morphe M506 and I'm just blending my brush back and forth, just sweeping it all around to make sure that my lower lash line will look as smoked out as possible. So now for my mascara, I'm taking the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and for my lashes, I'm taking these Flutter Lashes, which are really beautiful and wispy and I'm just gonna apply them right on top of that line that I created with eyeliner. And then this is the finished result. I really love how it turned out. Also, I really enjoy playing with this palette from Dose of Colors. I actually never used it before, but since I wanted to do like a brown smoke eye, I thought this palette would be perfect. It also has these two really gorgeous peachy colors. So you can either create like a smoke eye with this palette or do like a more softer look. I think it's really beautiful and it blended out really easily. Let me know in the comments if you also want me to do like a really intense navy blue version. I think that would be really beautiful or maybe a green or a purple, let me know. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye!